What's going on everyone? It's Lindsay with Little Helpful Files. So this is like totally different. I don't usually record while I'm in my car. Um, my daughter is sleeping and sometimes it's really challenging to find the time to do the videos that I wanna do. So last night when I was praying, God put it on my heart that I need to stop trying to have things planned out. I need to stop trying to have it a perfect way. I need to just do the things, right? And again, that's something I've worked on over time, especially with having a business before with my boutique. I always felt like I had to be, you know, dressed up and makeup done and jewelry on and look in a whole way. Well, most of the time, guys, I'm in athleisure clothes because I'm home with the kids. I homeschool them and that's the reality. And most of the time I also don't have my makeup done. We went out this morning and so like I did do my makeup, but that's also rare. Um, so I just want to encourage, you know, everyone that don't let any of those things hold you back from getting done the things you need to get done. I'm trying to be much more content um, with just who I am, how I am, how God made me um, and loving that and being okay sharing that part of me with others right like the part where I'm not completely put together or um, you know maybe I don't have my makeup or my hair done in the way I would want right so I thought through a lot of that and I've decided that in these times where I am um, you know kind of in these in-between moments or where like I'm stuck maybe in the car because my daughter's sleeping and she does not transfer well so I leave her if she's sleeping she stays um, so I wanted to go ahead and read through the new every morning um, meditations okay so I've been trying to do like one of these a week this has kind of been what's working out for me and I'm not reading ahead either like I'm doing you know each day with you guys so we're gonna go ahead and read a little bit from that he wants us to desire to make changes that are in accordance with his working in our lives the steadfast love of God the steadfast love is also translated as loving kindness and mercy all these words are wrapped up together. Kindness, favor, and even the word reproof lies in these definitions. This can seem confusing because often the world associates love with nothing but sweet words. But in order for God's love to be steadfast, it means it endures the test of time. This is the never-ending and pursuing love of God for his people that endures. Even his words of correction, rebuke, and admonition are given in love because he wants our hearts to change. He wants us to desire to make changes that are in accordance with his working in our lives. He wants us to be listening for the Holy Spirit's prodding. He wants us to be so in tune with him that we know his voice. When we get to the place where, he, where we interpret everything as gifts from his hand, we will know the depth of his steadfast love. And then we will be able to do nothing but praise him. And the verse referenced here is 1 Chronicles 16, 34. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. I love that. It is very, very true. His love covers all things. And um, his mercy, again, is new every single morning. I want to go ahead and read a little bit from the Bible as well. All right, so I'm going to read from Psalm 118. We're going to read through 1 to 14. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. In my anguish, I cried to the Lord, and he answered by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I will look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord I cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord I cut them off. I was, I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. So essentially this psalm is talking about the fact that um, God is not going to let him die. And 
there are so many times in the Old Testament where, you know, Israel is doing things and, you know, they look to God for the help. They look to God and God continues to give them, you know, new mercies and new um, blessings. Even when they, you know, mess up, they stray away, they sin, they um, don't do what's right. And in this psalm, talking about God's love endures forever, um, it also can be related to Jesus and the fact that Jesus knew God was not going to let death be the end. He knew that he would conquer death with the resurrection three days after him being crucified on the cross and ultimately you know, overcoming and conquering death and sin for us so that we may have eternal life through Christ. It is a beautiful thing to remember um, and the fact that the Lord is our strength. Let us look to the Lord in all of the times that we need and let him let him dwell within us and let us be reminded of his new mercies every single day and let us just continue to give thanks to the Lord for he is so good and he loves us so much. I hope that this blesses you guys. I hope that you can remember this throughout your day and your weekend and um, in all the things that you do. I just pray that you can let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you. If we can continue to let the Holy Spirit lead us, we can cast out any of the fear, the worry, the anxieties. We can come from a place of love and strength and hope and peace. So many wonderful things that will cast out all of the anxieties and the lies and the doubts and the worry. So guys, I pray that you will be able to just draw closer to God. Let Jesus lead you. Let the Holy Spirit be the one guiding in your life um, and just continue to stay rooted in the living word. It is our compass. It is our way to know. It is our way to be able to discern. It is how we can become closer to God and know his will for our lives. I pray that this blesses you guys, and I pray that you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye.